if you installed the Android Studio, you will have gotten the AVD Manager. This is the Android Virtual Device Manager, and it's a simulator that, that Google puts out. You can design your own device in terms of size and so forth. I'm just going to open up the AVD Manager and just show you what that looks like. And so it comes out of the box with these two devices created for you. Um, one is running Android 4.03, one is running Android 6, or you can talk about in terms of the APIs, API level 15, API level 23. I created my own for my Droid, which was 480 by 854, an older version Droid, it's API 15. And to do that, I simply went to create, gave it a name, so I typed in Droid, I'm gonna call this one test, choose a device, so I'll do a Nexus 7 device. What my target level is, I'm going to go API level 19. And I can choose to skin it if I want. I'm going to say no skin. Oh, makes I have to choose a skin, sorry. There we go. And we're going to click OK. It's going to create that device for me. So now I can take that device and I can start it. It's 800 by 1280, and it's starting the emulator. So this is the Android Google emulator. When we start working with Xamarin, we're going to see that this emulator works, but it's a little bit slower than a, an emulator that Xamarin provides. Takes a little time, but there is my emulator. It's still loading. And eventually it's going to treat it just a regular phone. I'm going to swipe to log into the uh, simulator. It's loading the operating system. Okay, I'm not going to wait for this to continue loading. It can take several minutes for the simulator to load. I'm just going to close that. And I'm going to clo close the Android Virtual Device Manager. I'm going to bring up my browser. And in the browser, I've gone to xamarin.com slash android player. So Xamarin has created their own Android player. And it uses an Oracle VM VirtualBox. It's going to install that as well. So you want to download for Windows. If you're on Mac, you want to download the Mac version as well. So you download Windows. It's going to install the Oracle VM VirtualBox. We do not have the Xamarin Android player running in the Mac classroom simply because we were... Uh, we chose not to install a the Oracle VM in the classroom. But at home, there's no problem doing this. And what you'll end up getting is the Xamarin Android Player. So I'm going to run that. And the, the Android Player comes with several preset downloadable devices. I've already downloaded four different ones here. And I like to do different sizes. So this one's a 1080 by 1920, 480 by 800, 800 by 1280, 768 by 1280. Eventually, as you create apps, you're going to test them on different sizes and different APIs. So I got some newer computers, some older computers. These are all either Lollipop or KitKat. Um, you can go to as new as Marshmallow, which is really kind of in development at this point. And as you choose to download these, they will show up under your installed devices. And then to run your device, all you need to do is click the arrow to the right, and it will start up the emulator. And it's good. this will take a minute or so for it to load. much faster than the AVD uh, manager emulators were.
And once it loads, you'll need to swipe to unlock. And now you're in an emulated device. We can go to the home page and we can see the apps that are running on our device. And we could actually use any of these apps in the emulator. So I'm gonna get the calculator. I can do that. And I can say nine times six equals 54. So when we create our apps in Xamarin, they're gonna show up here in our app listing and we can then run them on the simulator. I a lot of times like to have the Android player uh, up and running before I test. So you can launch it from Visual Studio when you test an Android project, but just save some time to have it up and running first and be able to do troubleshooting in case it doesn't load correctly. Okay, I've rebooted my machine because I want to show you a potential problem that you may encounter and how to fix it. So I'm back in the Xamarin Android player. I'm just going to open up one of the sim one of the emulators. And I get a warning and an error message. So the warning says the client client Hyper-V is enabled in the system. It can result in decrease in decreased performance. Tells me I should disable it and reboot. And then I get another one that's even worse. It's saying that this device is a multi-core device and cannot be run with Hyper-V enabled. So I'm going to basically click OK on both of those and show you how to fix. Let's go ahead and close this emulator because it's not going to load. And show you how to fix this. So I'm going to go to the control panel. I'm going to go to the programs and click on this turn windows features on or off. And here is the hyper V VM. I'm going to just simply disable that, say, okay. And then it's going to want to reboot. And I'll go ahead and restart. Okay, so once again, I've rebooted. I'm going to start up the Xamarin Android player and run my device. and I successfully launched the emulator with Hyper-V turned off. Now here's the one caveat. When you go to use the Windows Phone emulator or the tablet emulator, you will need to have Hyper-V turned back on. So it's gonna be a process of turning, uh, you're gonna test these things in the emulators, of turning these on or off, depending on which platform you're testing for.